there's no use taking outrageous risk to get a decent dividend yield. Safe high-yield dividend stocks may not have a ridiculously high yield, but they are as good or better than the average dividend stock. Ford, while the automotive market is more diversified, Ford is staying relevant and thriving. New York Community Bancorp It shored up its balance sheet by stepping in to buy the assets and loans of failed signature bank. ExxonMobil Exxon does a good job of taking care of shareholders. Nordic American Tankers This oil shipping company virtually prints money through exceptional profit margins. Life Storage Don't worry about the recent dividend cut. Life Storage will make up for it. Wendy's Company The fast food burger chain has a great payout and is still trying to find ways to be better. Enterprise Products Partners As in Master Limited Partnership, you will always get a good payout from Enterprise Products Partners. Let's dive in. Here are the 7 safe high-yield dividend stocks to buy in July. Welcome to Timely Investment Research. One thing that you always have to be aware of with dividend stocks is the yield. Yes, high-yielding stocks are appealing. But often, a dividend stock has an outsized yield because the stock price tumbled, robbing you of returns. What you want are safe high-yield dividend stocks. Safe high-yield dividend stocks may not have a ridiculously high yield, but they are as good or better than the average dividend stock on the market. You also can have confidence that the yield will stay intact without sacrificing the stock price. That's important for dividend investors. Many chasing yield do so because they rely on the quarterly or monthly income to supplement their retirement checks. Dividend investors often need that income to keep their retirement plans on track. Here are seven safe high-yield dividend stocks to buy in July. Number 1. Ford Ford is one of the original Big 3 Detroit automotive companies. While the automotive market is more diversified, Ford stays relevant and even thrives. Earnings in the first quarter showed revenue of $41.47 billion, up more than 20% from the previous year. Income was $1.76 billion, or 44 cents in earnings per share. The company is reporting second quarter earnings on July 27, but early indications are that it will be another solid report. Ford announced sales gains of 11.2% in the second quarter, while truck sales jumped by 26.2%. The F-150 Lightning electric vehicle saw sales up 119% from a year ago and 4.1% from the first quarter. Ford nearly doubled its dividend in April, from $0.08 cents per share to $0.15 cents per share, giving it a solid yield of almost 4%. And it's already announced the yield will stay at $0.15 cents for the third quarter. Ford stock is up 30% this year. Number 2. New York Community Bancorp Regional banks are typically good to avoid this year because we've already had three that failed. But with every rule, there's an exception. That brings us to an outstanding regional bank, New York Community Bancorp. New York Community Bancorp is a hot banking stock and a safe high-yield dividend stock because it bought most of the deposits and $13 billion in loans of failed Signature Bank. The deal is a huge win for New York Community Bancorp taking Signature's discounted assets to shore up its balance sheet. The bank now has $123.8 billion in assets, a gain of 37% from the previous quarter. In the year, New York Community Bancorp is up 36%. Raymond James analyst Steve Moss says the bank will continue outperforming its peers. We also expect New York Community Bancorp will report a stronger balance sheet because of capital generation and lower wholesale funding, post the March 2023 acquisition of Signature Bank from the FDIC. If New York Community Bancorp can sustain these trends and keep most of Signature Bank's teams, we believe the stock's valuation should re-rate meaningfully higher over time, he said. New York Community Bancorp offers a dividend yield of 6%. Number 3. ExxonMobil ExxonMobil has long been among my top energy stocks. The global oil and gas conglomerate made $55.7 billion in profits last year. It's on target in 2023 as well, even though oil prices are down from 2022. Earnings in the first quarter were $84.18 billion in revenue and $11.43 billion in income, or $2.83 per share. It's also doing a great job of taking care of shareholders. The dividend of $0.91 cents per share equates to a yield of 3.4% and a payout ratio of less than 40%. Exxon repurchased $4.3 billion in shares in the first quarter, with plans to buy back $17.5 billion in shares in 2023. Exxon raised its dividend yearly for the last 40 years, 
so investors can feel confident that the yields will continue, even though the stock price is down 5% in 2023. Number 4. Nordic American Tankers When you think about great stocks to buy, I won't blame you if you don't immediately think of oil tankers cruising worldwide. But this is a lucrative business. And you would be hard-pressed to find an oil tanker that's safer than Nordic American tankers. The company has 19 tankers with a cargo lifting capacity of 1 million barrels of oil. Operating one of those tankers takes about $8,000 per day, but the time charter equivalent rate is $51,900. At that rate, Nordic American is virtually printing money. If you're looking for a cheap stock to buy, then Nordic American is also very interesting. Shares are less than $4 each, so you can buy a lot of shares for not a lot of money. The stock price is up 23% in 2023. First quarter earnings came in at 22 cents per share on profits of $46.9 million. The dividend yield is nearly 16%. Number 5. Life Storage Life Storage is a New York-based REIT in the self-storage business. There are more than 51,000 self-storage businesses in the U.S. with an annual revenue of $29 billion. Life Storage has more than 1,000, 100 of those units in 37 U.S. states. First quarter earnings of $273.6 million beat analysts' estimates for $264.5 million, although the company fell just short of expectations on earnings per share, bringing in $0.96 cents per share when the street expected $1.04. One item of note, Life Storage recently announced a dividend of $0.90 cents per share, less than its normal dividend of $1.20 but I don't think that's anything to worry about. The company says the dividend is impacted by the company's pending merger with extra space storage that is expected to be completed later this month. Life Storage says that if the deal doesn't close as quickly as expected, Life Storage plans to pay a one-time dividend that would make up for the shortfall. Life Storage stock is up 40% this year. Number 6. Wendy's Company Wendy's Company is an Ohio-based fast-food burger chain made famous by late founder Dave Thomas' ubiquitous commercial campaign and named for his daughter. It's now the No. 3 burger chain in the U.S. with more than 7,000 locations. First quarter earnings include revenue of $528.8 million and earnings per share of $0.21, cents, better than analysts' expectations for $522.4 million and $0.20 cents EPS. The company is also not afraid to experiment to keep up with technology and hopefully get a step ahead of its competitors. It's begun incorporating AI automation into its drive through ordering platform and is experimenting with an autonomous robot system to deliver food orders placed for pickup. Wendy's stock provides a dividend yield of 4.7%. Number 7. Enterprise Products Partners REITs are the only income investment vehicles with a unique tax structure. Enterprise Products Partners is a master limited partnership based in Houston that provides midstream energy services to producers and consumers of natural gas, natural gas liquids, oil, and other products. Master limited partnerships trade ownership shares publicly like a stock. The corporation pays taxes on earnings before it shares the windfall with investors as dividends. By taking advantage of tax benefits like depreciation and depletion, Master Limited Partnerships reduce the taxes on income and often provide sizable dividend yields. Enterprise Products Partners currently pays a 7.5% dividend yield. That includes a recent decision to increase the quarterly cash distribution to $0.50 cents per unit, a 2% increase from the last quarter and a 5% jump from a year ago. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Timely Investment Research. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey don't forget to subscribe.